I'm often asked, how much money can you make from professional gambling? Well, it's not one size fits all and it will depend on a number of factors. I'm Tony from Bet Analyst and that's what we're going to discuss now. How much money can you make from sports betting? The majority of professional gamblers will fit into one of the following categories. A semi-professional this is somebody who is just simply making a side income. It could be a couple hundred dollars a month extra and they're happy with it. Make a good living. Now, when I say make a good living, this is obviously relative to your situation. You know, salaries in Norway and Africa are very different, aren't they? So, you know, that's why I say it's relative to your situation. But as long as you're making what you would make in a salary, we could class it as a good living. And then, of course, you might want to treat it as a career or a business. And this is when you're going to get really into it, yes? This is a much more adventurous path, but something that you can achieve. Obviously, the more you learn, the more you earn. So it goes within you know, your own capabilities. And, of course, you've got to execute. You can go to bed every night and think, I'm going to be a professional gambler but without doing something about it, it will never happen. So the question is, how much can I earn? It is relatively easy to get to level one. Um, I'm talking now from sort of British person's point of view, making an extra 20,000 a year, right? That's relatively straightforward. There's tools out there, you could be making that pretty well straight away it's it's easy to make a couple of thousand a month if you do things right and you know the tests that come will be relatively well manageable let's put it like that level two is those who are really trying to take it up a stage you know make it the hundred thousand a year become uh, wealthy through it successful now that if you if you work at it you follow things from level one and you build on that, you can soon get to the 100,000 a year. Level three, obviously, is probably beyond most of you, but at the same time, if you're really ambitious, right, you're willing to invest in your structure, willing to sort of import things, build your softwares, right, you can possibly get to that. And, uh, you know, half a million a year, it's nothing. Once knowledge is acquired, and you really, really want it, and you show that bit of ambition, and you, you know, you started doing things right, then you could probably get to that scale. Level four is uh, syndicates. They're probably making most of them between half a million and a hundred million a year. Obviously, the ones that are making a hundred million a year, they've got probably staff of like a hundred, hundred and fifty. So you know, they've got massive costs on that. But uh, uh, yes, I mean, anything's possible. There's lots of uh, syndicates out there that I can mention that uh, are achieving those type of sums. And the last thing I want to say is really the sky's the limit, right? It is, you know, that everything. The great thing is about gambling is you've got everything in your hands. If you're just a person that's content to make a little bit of money, you can stake that first level. If you're a person that really wants to achieve that level four, right, then, you know, you've got to just imagine it's like going to university and you're going to shoot down towards a profession, professorship in the end. So, you know, this type of things that you've just got to take into consideration for yourself and how you're going to achieve uh, the scale that you wish for. So, like I said, it's dependent on you. And on that note, I would like to say there is no blueprint. You know, it's not one rule fits all. It's, uh, what, what should I say, one size fits all. Everyone is different. People from different places, circumstances are different. Some have got financial starts. Some have got a better education. It just depends really on you as a person. It will depend on you also with the financial situation if you've got a starting bank it's obviously a bonus if you have to make a starting bank first it's going to be a bit of a slower process but anything's possible just believe in it 
And then it's going to be down to your skill and knowledge base. As we was discussing before, if you want to sort of get on level four, level five, then you're going to have to develop yourself as a person. You know, it's all educational. You're going to have to do things right. Build an environment where, where you can get people on your side and do things and, yeah, just, you know, achieve your goals. Obviously, it becomes more complex the deeper you get into it. And that's why I said to you at the beginning that you can make the 2000 a month relatively quickly because it's it's such a simple system. Yeah, It gets a lot more complex when you start talking about sports modeling and you, know, you, you start uh, playing with the algorithms and the mathematics of uh, gambling, right? Because then you're moving up the, to the next level and that's when it becomes a real challenge. And obviously, you know, you as a person, some people have got business business acumen. You've got Jeff Bezos there. You know, he's built uh, uh, Amazon um, and some other people are just little Amazon pawns. It depends what you want to be. Do you want to be the baby pawn or do you want to be the king prawn? I would also men- like to mention location and residency. Now, don't mix the two. Location right when you can send a bed from a lot of different locations even if you're not actually living there residency is something personal and that's going to affect you in different ways residency will cover you as a person because if you're living in a country you know where it's difficult to bet from then it's it's going to be problematic when you start to repatriating monies etc it will also the residency part, which bookmakers you can access straight away. The location, as I said, you know, you could be living in uh, Mongolia, but still be betting from another country because, you, you know, there's ways around these type of things as you go, as you sort of move on. Then you've got to, you know, the residency is also the legal obligation and the confrontation. Are the tax office going to become knocking on the door? I mean, places like the US, they obviously do. Uh, but it, it's also a question of rights. You know, have you got the right to bet with foreign bookmakers from where you are, where you are located? How are you going to get that legal structure into place to, to achieve it? I would say at the moment, just off the top of my head, top locations would be somewhere like Malta, New Zealand. The UK has obviously become a bit sort of problematic as they're going into, uh, uh, well, the you know the government's uh, changing laws all the time, and uh, uh, now they're into problem gambling, and uh, you know so it's going to be more difficult to move money around. But uh, top locations where you can pretty well freely bet with most bookmakers in the world are like uh, Malta, New Zealand. But like I've just mentioned, you've got to watch out for law changes and you've got to react accordingly. If your country starts to get a little bit tricky in terms of law, then you've got to start looking for a new location pretty quickly. So the last thing we really want to discuss is the organization, the organizational part, should I say. All right. So you will need to invest in tools and and this is obviously, it will make your life easier. It will identify you value bets. It will identify you arbitrage bets. It will give you that little bit of advantage that you need to make money straight away. Um, some of these obviously come at a cost, uh, relatively low cost, uh, which uh, will make it easier for you. But you will, at least at the start, need to invest in tools or when you get going to a decent level. If you're clever, you learn to network. You treat people correctly um, because these people are guys that are probably going to get you third-party accounts, do some knowledge sharing. You might partner up with them in certain projects. You know, the more people that you know, the more chances that you've got. Bet placement, that also goes along with your network. The world is your oyster. Um, you can be living, like I said, any, you could be living on a boat in the middle of the Atlantic as long as you've got that internet connection and you've got somebody to place your beds from a certain country or you can log into a computer in that country and have the legal cover, then, you know, bet placement is also something that you're going to have to think about. Software, investing in your own software will obviously give you an advantage over um, having to buy tools because, first of all, you own it. You can design the, the, the software how you want it to react and it will give you a bit more of an edge. 
and of course if you are seriously into betting then you're going to have to at some stage develop software to help you identify opportunity and uh, last is uh, legal the legal structure moving money around you know it's not always easy there's a lot more sort of uh, demands from governments nowadays uh, so keep proper audits of uh, your bet your betting accounts etc this is obviously going to be dependent on where you live you might have to repatriate money um, look at banking because uh, banks could close your bank accounts uh, um, you know uh, then you've got e-wallets so you could have the same problems with so you've got to have some kind of legal structure in place if you're going to get to that sort of bigger level when you're going to get identified and as they say you know if you all if you do what you have always done you're going to get what you've always got it is down to you to change to keep up to speed and you know to get ahead to build something so that's it for now you want to find out more about us then get in touch if you want one-to-one -one coaching we could probably do that it just depends on you as an in individual and you know what potential that you've got you can visit our website uh, for more tutorials and blogs that's uh, www.betanalyst.com and uh, please do like this uh, video and uh, subscribe for more if you do that, uh, you know, we're going to come back and uh, do a lot more sort of teachings and uh, elf, hopefully help you along your way. So thanks for watching. We'll catch us in the next one soon. See you then. Bye-bye.